Probably gonna okay with it. guys this is MacMaster guy and today on Gundam vs Next Plus we're gonna be playing with the V2 Gundam and I thought of this last episode because the only song I was playing was Stand Up to the Victory and the most ironic thing about it is that I very I actually barely have watched Victory Gundam I only watched like the first 30 seconds and then I quit because I was really tired and I wanted to go to sleep so score but before we continue, I would like to say welcome back and hopefully you guys sit around and enjoy. And to start off this episode, we're going to be using the V2 Gundam, but we're going to start off with a little bit of a practice match. And we're going to go against a random normal CPU with the normal stuff like 6,000 team cost in 180 seconds. So hopefully I don't fight a cost 1,000. Yes! I'm fighting okay. Domon. Which is actually a bad thing because, you know, it's Domon. What do I do against Domon? But, uh, instead of me just talking and saying stuff stupid, I want to be aggressive with the Victory Gundam because if its name is Victory Gundam, that means I should be aggressive. I'm gonna get that W no matter what. Or in this case, the V. Boy, if you don't get is, is nobody laughing? Uh, oh, I was hoping people were laughing about that, but hey. And since Domin is like a, a close quarters, um, or the guy gun is a close quarters uh, mobile suit, I'll be able to, you know sort of take it back this round and really not care and since he's we're both cost 3000 I can actually just stay back and just not really give a fudge okay that was stupid uh, I just blasted a wall I could like literally I could just stay back oh mm -mm, never mind did I really just miss him in this mode like, in the moment I get out of it, I blast him? What is my life? What is this? But I like how I said I'm gonna be aggressive. Oh, mm. See, that, that was where I was stupid. I said I like how I said I was gonna be aggressive, but then instantly go passive when I get into the secondary mode. And then get myself screwed over by a normal bot. Look, I have no problem against normal AIs, but, you know, hey. I thought if I was gonna take an L, I was gonna be taking the L against a new type bot or an A spot. But hey, I've barely used this gun before, so uh, I know it can do that, so that's cool. Ooh, what? I just want to finish him off with this. Oh no, 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 that's not happening. Oh, that's that is ooh, that hurts. I better not get like blindsided and get through it over. Hmm. Hmm. The moment I said that, just mm, the moment I said that, I get myself screwed over. And it's like I'm debating: should I just retry or just go back? Retry or go back? Retry or go back? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the retrying. And now this is when tryhard mode is activated. Not really, because I don't think I have a tryhard mode. Or at least if I do have a tryhard mode, it's really locked deep inside me, like I'm a new type or something. With super latent abilities. Okay. Oh, well, I could have swore I smacked him first with his beam saber. Okay. And that is why you don't fight Damon in close quarters. Because if you do, you'll get screwed over. You'll get a shining finger up your face. Up your face? Yeah, we're gonna roll with that. Okay, okay. Oh, I thought it was gonna combo that. Mm. Okay. It's time to get serious. Now, don't miss. Beam spray gun. That's what it's called, I think, because I heard him say something like that. I'm honestly so afraid of getting this close to Damon because, like, it's just that he's Damon. And if I get close, it's like Icarus going to the sun. I'm gonna get burned up. No matter how much victory I get. Uh, but can I redeem this L? This L I took at the beginning of the video. Can I redeem it? With a victory. 
It would have been more swag if I finished them off with the secondary mode, but we're gonna roll with it. Alrighty guys, so the next thing we're gonna do with the V2 gun debate, we're actually gonna increase the CPU level from normal to hard. <coughs> Pause. But also, you guys, if you guys didn't realize before, I actually changed the level from 3 to 4, and I wanted to see what that would do. And I don't really see much of a change, uh, or at least I'm just really dumb about it. And we're actually going to increase the time just a bit. Oh, wait, what did I do? What did I do up here? There we go. And I'm actually going to increase the time by one tidbit. So instead of just 180 seconds, we're going to do uh, 210, which is uh, 6, 12, 180. So a little bit over three minutes, I think. I don't know. Who knows? Oh, and I'm going against the Death Scythe Hell. Fun. All right. And that's a very tricky uh, mobile suit, so I'll have to figure out how I'm going to fight this guy. But I, have, I can be a little bit more lenient on what I've been doing because, you know, what is it? I have a little bit more time and also... But then again, he's actually a uh, lower cost than the God Gundam. But I don't know how I'm gonna win this actually because uh, I'm assuming that cloak mode for the Death Scythe is uh, more or less for blocking projectile attacks. But can I actually get my? But since he's in this form, he can finally attack me. So that means. I have the opportunity to actually blast him down if I need to. Blast him down? What? What? what am I talking about? I felt like my mom was trying to be smart, but at the same time, it just sounded really stupid. Damn. Ooh! Don't catch this word, boy! Did I actually combo that? Did I combo? Did I add that to the stream? I'm actually happy if I did. Okay. So yeah, he's back into that mode. No, I'm assuming. I was gonna say I was assuming that uh, what is it? Melee quarters combat will actually affect him then. And honestly, before I continue, can we just admire how swag the Death Scythe is? Just look at this man. I love this Gundam. Like, once again, I barely watched Gundam Wing. I'm still in the first season of Gundam Wing, but. I love this guy. He's so funny. And then his, like, what is it? Not funny, but I mean his operator's funny. Because, like, he's just so swag. Like, he's like the cool person you want to be in school. Okay. That was probably a bad idea, considering that, you know, he was in that other state. Ooh, okay. Beam spray. And that's how you take W, guys. Honestly, for a minute though, I actually thought I was gonna lose because, you know, this guy did not seem like he was gonna take any L's. But regardless, I love how the V2 Gundam looks in the secondary stage. And when I actually get an opportunity, I'm gonna look this up and probably um, edit in the name somewhere. But yeah, I actually like the V2 Gundam. It's really fun to use. All right, guys, like always, we're just gonna increase the level from hard mode to ace mode. And we're going to see what happens now. We're going to keep the time and everything else the same. We're just going to see what happens. We're going to, of course, we're fighting the new Gundam in Amuro. Of course we're fighting Amuro. Amuro with funnels, which is even scarier. Or fins or bits or whatever they're called. Because there's so many different kinds of weapons like that in Gundam series. That I just forget. Okay. Boop. Bam. Bam. Uh, uh. Oh, okay. Oh, you know, I just realized I'm fighting a Muro, so I'm gonna probably cry all night. My best bet. What would my best bet be against this guy? Honestly, I thought his funnels were coming out for me, and I was like, okay. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm probably gonna, okay, uh, I like how I've just seen a funnel and I just totally forgot how to speak. Just sees, sees a funnel and it's like, um, the, the, the. that's amazing. I amaze myself sometimes. Okay, just gonna, oh! I just, I literally fell for his trap. 
Amuro is way too strong for me. Or, or not. And I have to force this match, so... Oh, mm, 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 mm. What is that thing? I want to know what this thing is in the V2 gun, because it only happens when he's here. Is that like a character? Can somebody like give me insight? Anybody who actually watched v Victory Gundam? And I'm, it actually m intrigues me, and it makes me want to actually listen to it, or I mean, watch it. Okay. Should I just blast him? Do I blast him? Do I blast him? Uh... Okay, that was a horrible idea just jumping into him. A horrible idea. Can I win this? Because it's... It's like, up until this point, I'm just like, I'm done. I'm done. He, his funnels are good. He's just good. Ace mode is, is good. Well, of course it is, but... And of course he uses that when there's only a minute left. So he forces the engagement. Forces my engagement. Ah. Uh. <sighs> Sorry if I sounded weird, but I wanted to finish up somebody with that, and it just happened to be a Muro in the new Gundam. So I'm just, I'm honestly, I'm feeling a little clean right now. Just give me the Thug Life glasses and just say, no, not the Thug Life glasses, but the Kamina glasses, because. If you believe in you that believe in yourself, then you'll most definitely be tomorrow, Ray. Alrighty, guys, so I actually put up the AI to new type mode, and now we're fighting the Exia. So that means I have to beat this guy three times, which is gonna be extremely difficult considering it's the Exia, and it has just a high speed mobility that a swag person just needs in their life. And of course, I'm just lacking all that mobility because I'm stupid for a minute. Oh, cool. Hey, I just realized I stand up to the victory. Stand up to the victory. Hopefully, I don't get screwed over again. Oh, yeah, I actually did it. I'm just gonna roll through on this guy. Because that means his transam's not activated yet. Or he's nowhere near being activated. What, why did I stand still? There we go. Honestly, should I just force an engagement? Because, no I shouldn't. Because like, oh my gosh. Hmm. How am I gonna do this? Okay, how am I gonna do this? Because Trans Amps confuses me. Okay. I'm just gonna wait for his Trans Amps to run out. Just so I can make my engagement more, you know, legit so I don't get screwed over. And I have less than two minutes to beat this guy. That's great. That's great. Oh, that's, that's totally great. Actually, that was great, because I actually, I actually got a triple beam shot combo, so that's pretty rare on a new type boat. Damn. Dang. Mm, mm. Okay. No games. No games, no life, guys. Because you know that's an anime. And we're gonna roll with it. Bam. 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 Okay. Um. I like how we're just both out this. Did I just snipe him when he was going back to normal? Why do I feel. Like. That hit me right in my feels, but I, I, I don't know what I'm gonna say, and I actually don't know what I'm gonna do for this next round, actually. Maybe fight some uh, Victory Gundam characters, uh, if I figure out who they are, but... Alright guys, so I was a little bit too lazy to actually Google search up the Gundam in Next Plus that are actually from, what is it, Victory Gundam? So I just, I knew this guy was from Victory Gundam, because 
that is the legit victory Gundam. So I might as well just roll around and actually, this time we're gonna make it like super 100% fair. 1000, don't know what that does. 1000, so that means if I die, that means it's over. If he dies, it's over. Same HP, not same HP, but if we, if one of us dies, it's over for us. And this is the next plus theme. Okay. Okay, ooh, okay, yeah. There we go. I knew how to bro break down those shields because apparently the wingspan on this wing move is actually extremely big. So that means I can take out multiple enemies if needed to. You gotta be kidding, he has it back up. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be poops. I'm actually gonna just finish this guy off. He's a no. Don't be a poopy face. Oh no, no. Oh, he's gonna finish me off. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh. I guess his victory, desire, and his resolve was just so much more than mine. Uh, me and Buddy are on the same thing. How did I lose to my little brother? Well, technically his little brother. Alrighty then, poop this. I'm actually gonna retry this because, you know, anytime you feel it, you can just magically click a restart button. That's the life lesson right there, guys. Not really. Don't actually listen to that. Anybody who listens to that is, uh, pretty dumb. Okay. I just have to be smart, and I just, I was not capable of being smart. Bang! Okay, no, I, I wasn't banging anything. I don't know why, but sometimes when there's beam attacks, I still make the sound. I don't know why, it just sounds fun. And that, that was just more legit, because, you know, I beat him. And I, I didn't end off the video with a fail. But honestly, we're gonna remember that for the rest of our lives. How Mech, Mech Master Guy just got destroyed by the Victory Gundam, even though he was using the V2 Gundam. <sighs> Those are the good days. But if you guys did enjoy this video, then I would like to actually recommend that you like the video and also share the video with people who you think may like it. Cause you know, that makes sense. And another thing I would like to say is if you guys actually want to uh, stay in touch with me and keep up with me, my social media links are always um, everywhere. So if you guys want to, so you guys can do that. And down in the description below, there's also going to be a question of the day, just uh, surrounded by the particular game or thing I'm doing today. So yeah, so if you guys want to actually answer that, then go down in the description and look and then comment down below your answer to that question. Also down in the description below, there's actually links to many different things, so enjoy that. But without much further ado, there's nothing else I'd like to say except have a good day, go outside, have fun, play some Gundam Versus if you want. But yeah, without much further ado, this is Mechmaster Guy saying peace in it.